What's going on everybody? The Aerie Lord is back. Welcome back to another Walking Dead Season 10 vlog covering the space and time, the gap between the mid-season finale and the second half of Season 10. In this video we're going to discuss a little bit about the character of Michonne. I, have, I don't typically do vlogs that are very character focused, but considering that we have a exit on our hands, I do recall doing this for Rick slash Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick Grimes, when it was first announced that he was leaving the show back in, I believe it was June of 2018. It felt like the sky was falling, especially because up till that point, Rick was our main protagonist, and it didn't seem like the show would survive without him. I'm happy to report that for a season and a half, it has done exceedingly well, and some of the show's uh, greatest moments have actually come when Rick hasn't been a part of it, and that's very surprising for me to even admit. Now... Michonne is another major character, as we know, in this series. And she's been in the series technically since the season 2 finale when she saved Andrea. And then her real introduction was in season 3. And from there, she was a major force. From the comics, people knew that she was coming. She was also a major comic book character. Her arc was handled a little bit differently. Um, she had some relationships and... Um, some setup that was a little different. What happened was when they got rid of Andrea at the end of season three, Michonne really took a lot of Andrea's comic book moments. Most importantly, getting into a relationship with Rick. In the comics, Michonne never does this. Rick and Michonne are platonic friends, allies, but in the show, that is a very different case. And it makes sense the way they structure it in the show. Michonne was a motherly figure to Carl, to Judith. Like, she was playing up to that role, and it seemed like an inevitability that it was going to happen. And I liked that moment going all the way back to season six when Rick and Michonne had that intimacy uh, together. <clears throat> but as it was revealed in... Man, when was it that it was revealed? It was this, it was this year. It was 2019. It was earlier in the year. It might have actually been a year, like a, exactly one year after Andrew Lincoln announced his exit. I believe Michonne said the same. As season 10 approached, she revealed at numerous events that season 10 was in fact her final season. Um, it's unfortunate because Michonne is definitely one of, if not one of the leading, like lead characters of the show. Especially when Rick left, she became pretty much the leader of Alexandria. Everyone looked to her, even though there was a council with Father Gabriel and a few others. Michonne, you really feel like Michonne has the veto power, that she has the final say over some of the stuff that happens regarding prisoners, explorations, resources, whatever it may be. It seems like she's always kind of at the top of the pack in terms of decision making. And her relationship with Judith is very important. Judith has learned to sword fight from her mother. And they also have an additional child who is not in the comics, RJ, who is the, the uh, child of uh, Rick and Michonne. And that is something that Rick does not know. He does not know that he has another biological kid out there. Which is, again, why I hope that Rick, in some way, whether it's the movies or at the end of the show, when the show gets to its series finale, when it's about to wrap up, I hope Rick can meet his biological son, RJ, and even meet a grown-up Judith, because I think that they deserve to have that reunion. I just want the characters that we have left to know that Rick is alive. Now, this actually ties into the discussion material for this video as to how we think Michonne is going to exit the show. In what way are they going to do this? We had a lot of speculation when it came to Rick Grimes the year before. People thought he was just going to die. People thought that he might be written off the show, but how would that happen? They had teased the helicopter a few times, but I don't know if, any, other than people who spoil it, I don't think anyone who really knew 
about that option for an exit because Gimple kept the movies under wrap. He did not reveal to the public that there were three Rick Grime movies being created. And then when the episode happened, at the end of the episode on Talking Dead, Gimple revealed this information as to tell people that Rick's story will continue, just not in the show, but in a different way, dealing with a very different group. Um, so do we think... Because I think this is what's going to happen. And I don't know if Virgil's group has any communication with the helicopter group, with the CRM. I had said this in the review vlog that I made where I was talking... Well, not really, the, the preview vlog. The preview, the new images previewing the second half of season 10. I, I was keeping this talking point under wraps because every time we saw... We, saw a, we see a few images in the preview of Michonne on this gigantic boat, this uh, vessel, naval vessel, and seems like Virgil was telling the truth, but we also see Michonne back in the action on land, wearing um, a hoodie, trying to disguise her identity. So she comes, we do know a few things from the preview, and making this prediction, we know that she gets on the naval base with Virgil, she must come back with weapons of some kind, but if so, what weapons? And when she does come back, is she going to have some sort of exit where she dies or she's rescued in a helicopter again? Now, I thought before season 10 even started, when they announced that she was leaving the show, my first instinct was, oh, She's going to discover some information about the helicopter group, about the CRM. She might think that's where Rick was taken. She's going to find some evidence of some kind that points to Rick Grimes being alive. And she's going to exit the show and embark on an adventure to go find Rick because she believes that, you know, even though it's been six freaking years... There's still a possibility that Rick could be out there. Um, that was always my like most likely prediction because, again, I just cannot see them killing Michonne off. Like I just would hate for them to kill her off, and for her to not know that Rick is alive out there. It just it would seem cruel. It would seem really cruel of all the like we've had characters die since Rick went off on the helicopter, and they will never know that Rick was actually alive. So characters like Enid, Tara, Henry, like any, you know, Sadiq. Sadiq, I guess that's kind of a big one. But, I mean, the big ones that need to know this, I mean, um, again, I mentioned RJ, Judith, um, Daryl, Carol, um, maybe Negan to some extent. Um, because Negan's alive because Rick said that he wanted to keep him alive. Um, and then Michonne. I think those characters really, they, they cannot die. They can't exit the show without knowing that Rick is out there. And you could, you could get around this by having Michonne go to the movies. Now, it's funny that the Walking Dead movies, like, if this does happen, it's going to become like a running joke that if you want to leave the Walking Dead TV show and have a, lesser commitment you know instead of being in the georgia heat for months on end you can just be on this film set for a little period of time to film these movies it's like the lesser commitment of the walking dead so that your character follows this logical progression and the story as a whole is not affected because they're trying to tell some greater story arc here and they don't want a character's exit to uh to swerve the direction and again, I'm very impressed with how Angela Kang was able to keep all of the cool, exciting material of the Whisperers, and Rick didn't even need to be there for it. Like Carol and Daryl and all the other characters who have dealt with the Whisperers, I've had fun watching them deal with it, and I'm like, well, it would be cool, yeah, and maybe some alternate universe if the comic stuff was adapted and we got to see how Rick introduces himself to alpha and yeah you know freaking andrew lincoln and samantha morton acting together would be a treat in and of itself but i've liked the direction they've gone so far and i as long as we have some payoff for wherever rick was taken in the helicopter 
and what his story is going to be, that alone make it worthwhile. And the same can be said of Michonne. I hope that, like, part of me doesn't really, I don't want her to die, because if I'm remembering correctly, there is a major character that dies when the Horde, the Whisperer Horde, is unleashed upon the communities. And we are coming up to that point in the comics in the second half of season 10. So I have a lot of concern about where things are headed with Michonne. Because she could take that comic death. Because, let me just say, a little bit of a spoiler for comic book fans, or if you don't want to know the comic book material, I'll give you a minute to pass on this. But basically Rick's lover dies in the Horde sequence. When the Horde is unleashed upon Alexandria, Andrea in the comics, it's Andrea, goes to divert the Horde and save Eugene, and she gets bit by a walker, and she has a slow, slow death. Now, they already kind of did this death with Carl. When Carl was bit, he got to say his goodbyes to a whole bunch of people. He had his extended goodbye with Rick. They already went through it with Carl. And in my mind, when Carl was bit and they had that whole thing play out, that was their way of adapting the Andrea comic death. That's my view on it. So if they're going to do something different, they wouldn't have Michonne die. Also because Rick's not there to experience it like judith in like there aren't too many characters who would be able to have this big woeful death about michonne it would be judith and rj and i mean that's horrible to have a kid have to watch their parent go you know dot like it's just it would be very tragic and you know i'm i just i don't know how they pull that off to me michonne leaving the show going on a helicopter that makes more sense to me than her dying like her comic counterpart, lover counterpart does during the Whisperer Horde sequence. So maybe they'll swap it out for another character because a major character does die. A major, major character dies when that Horde is unleashed. And I'm expecting the Horde to be unleashed. Even though the group is looking at the Horde in the cave right now, that Horde will be unleashed in some way, shape, or form in this second half so it's anyone's guess as to how this happens and that's why we do prediction videos of course but i just what like what makes more sense to you guys do you think michonne dying or her going to find rick and searching for the helicopter group which makes more sense because in some way she's going to exit the show but i would just hope that they keep her character alive so that she can have that potential reunion with Rick. Um, or maybe something with the Commonwealth. Something. Like something where her character could still have some life. And that you don't get some... I don't want to say cheap death. But a death that's less satisfying. And like I said, I would hate for Michonne not to know that Rick is alive. It just, it just frustrates me that that might happen now. I just wouldn't want it to happen. And I'm hoping that whatever her fate is in the second half of season 10, that she's still in some way around to see Rick at the helicopter group or wherever the heck they meet to know that he's alive. And yeah, that's my hope and desire. So if you guys have any similar hopes and desires, let me know and comment and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you'd like to hear topics similar to this one um i'll be thinking of more vlog topics for you guys so i can fill this december space until we get to the end of february when we're going to be preparing for episode nine but we still have a lot of time until then so until that day comes i will be signing off right now and Hoping you guys had a nice Thanksgiving and preparing at this point I'll, when I'm uploading this vlog, preparing for Christmas. And yeah, uh, again, let me know if there are any topics you'd like me to cover and um, we'll keep going strong. All right. Thanks, guys.